Please watch the video in high quality. This video shows how to get and set the width and height of a UI image or raw image in Unity. So currently uh, I have an image here with the uh, um, uh, image source and if I click get size it will display the size of that image and if I want to set the size by changing the uh, width and height and pressing set it will change the uh, the, the size of that image and we'll find how to do that in a script. So I'll start by creating a UI image game object. I'll leave its name to be image and uh, we'll uh, change its uh, pivot, keep it to 0.5 and the anchor to the middle and change the X and Y position to zero and the width to be 600 uh, and the height to be 600 as well. I'll just uh, uh, assign an image for it, uh, anything you want to uh, add. And then I'll just press F to uh, have a look uh, at the uh, result. Here it is. So that is done. Next, I will add a, a UI a text uh, mesh pro game object, we'll say yes to import the text mesh pro essentials and we'll change the text uh, name to text width and then uh, we'll make sure the pivot is zero on the x, one on the y and the anchor is to top left and the x and y are both zero and we'll uh, just zoom into it to see how it looks and then we'll change the uh, text to say width okay that should do and then I'll copy it or duplicate it by pressing ctrl D and change the uh, name to height and we'll change the uh, uh, the y to be minus 50 and we'll change the text to be height. And I will change both the width to 150 and next I will uh, add an input field UI um, input field of text mesh pro and we'll rename it to input field uh, width and uh, uh, we'll uh, change the uh, the uh, pivot to zero on the x one on the y and the anchor to top left and we'll change the x to 150 and the y to 0 and the width to 160 and the height maybe to 50 and then uh, we'll go um, I might need to change the uh, text uh, uh, font size by going to text area and then selecting text and let's see, text a font size is a bit small, so I'll change that to 35. I could also change everything alignment to be in the middle vertically over here, and that would be the same for the text width and the uh, text height. Then uh, we could make a duplicate of the input field to make one for the height, so I'll press Ctrl D and we'll change the name to uh, input field height and then uh, we'll uh, change the uh, position of the input field uh, height so that the x stay 150 and the y become minus 50. Next we could add uh, uh, before that, uh, you could also control the input uh, settings so it accepts decimals. 
uh, numbers so that could be controlled under the going to input field setting and under the content type instead of standard you could select different types that we are interested in decimal numbers and that's similarly for both next i'll create two buttons so right click ui a button of type text mesh pro and we'll change the button uh, name to get size and uh, we'll change its uh, pivot to be zero on the x one on the y and the anchor to be top left and the position on the x to be uh, zero and on the y to be something like minus 110 and the width will could make it 150 and the height would be 50 sorry i didn't uh, select the top left one so here it is and we'll just change the x back to zero and the width would be 150 okay and we'll just change the text uh, of the button to get size and we'll add a decent font size for it maybe 35 yeah that should do and then we could uh, duplicate the button to make one for uh, set size so i'll just rename it to set size and we'll change its uh um sorry uh it's um position on the x to something like 160 and uh, that should be it and i'll just need to change its text to instead of get size we'll change it to set size next i'll create a script by right click on the asset create folder we'll name it scripts and inside it we'll create a new right click create c sharp script and we'll name it get set uh, image and uh, you could assign it to any game object uh, i will just add it to to be part of the canvas I'll drag it to the canvas and select the canvas to make sure that the script is there and then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. Inside the script file I pasted uh, a number of lines so up to here this is the, uh, the, the default namespaces and I needed to add the unity engine.ui namespace and the text mesh pro that we can use them and then we had three public variables uh, they are game objects one is to hold the image game object and other to hold the input uh, for the width and input for the height and then I uh, will have uh, a number of uh, uh, private variables two of them of type text uh, mesh pro input field and that's to hold the uh, input field uh, sorry input width uh, 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 object which we gonna get later from the input width game object or so we're getting the component here and similarly we'll get the component for the input height out of it and then have other variables one is image and uh, the one for the width and one for the height and one to hold the rectangle which uh, contain the the width and height values uh, at the start uh, method, we'll uh, set a value for the image variable and that's just going to be uh, the image game object and then we'll get the component of image out of it and then the input width, we, we're going to get the input width component out of the input width game object by using game component and uh, asking for the game, uh, sorry, the type of of component to be text mesh pro input field make sure it's text 
text mesh pro if you put uh, I've, I've made a mistake of just adding at the first input field and that uh, didn't work similarly we get the input height and then uh, we don't need the update uh, method here and then we'll uh, have two uh, methods that we're gonna uh, uh, attach later to a button so uh, to two buttons so when the uh, user uh, click the get the image that size this method would be called and it's basically assign a value to the rectangle using the image game object uh, sorry the image object uh, or, or component which we got out of the image game object and using the dot rect transform and dot rect and that will uh, 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 return a, a rect type variables that hold information such as the x y and width and height so from the rect we can get the width and height and then uh, we get uh, we get the uh, we assign the text uh, so we we getting the input width uh, 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 component and assign or change its text to match the width uh, and the width is returned in float so we use to string to turn it into string and similarly we get uh, that we change the text of the input height to uh, be the height converted to a string the other method is set image size is when the uh, user click the button of set image uh, size then it will um, uh, get uh, uh, get the width and height from uh, parsing float parsing the input width text and the input height text that we have that the user could change and uh, then we'll call the image and get its uh, call its rec transform and size delta that's so we could change its size and then we uh, create a new vector 2 because the size delta of type vector 2 and then we pass the width and height that we got from the user input so if i save the uh, script and go back to the editor I will need to assign the game object so because the script is inside the canvas for these public variables I'll go to the script so it's require image game objects so I'll just drag the image game object into its place and then input width and input uh, field height so I'll just drag them in their places and then we'll go to assign the methods to the buttons so i will select the get size button and add on a click event to it and we'll drag the canvas because the script is inside it so i'll drag it here and then we could access the method inside or the scripts inside so it's under the get set image script and we will look for get image size we select that and similarly we'll do the same for the other button for set size uh, add an event and then drag the uh, canvas into it and then access its get set image uh, script and then go all the way to set image size uh, method so now if i click play I can change the aspect or the resolution to full HD and now if I press on get size you will notice it will get the size of the image which is 600 by 600 and that's what we assign initially but if we want to change that to 1000 to 1000 for example and press set size you will see the size has changed uh, accordingly so uh, that's it uh, this is how we could get and set the width and height of ui image or raw image uh, using the script in unity thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this